viewers, welcome to our first concept TV headline Godwin Emefele's 10 Unforgivable Sins as CBN Governor. In a surprising turn of events on June 10, 2023, President Bola Tinubu suspended Godwin Emefele, the governor of the State Bank of Nigeria, CBN, um, singling the end of an era that thief billions of that left millions of Nigeria reeling from the consequence of his controversies policy. Emefile's suspension was met with a collective sign of relief across the nation as he had come to embody an economic terror that plagued Nigerians for nearly a decade. As one of the long-serving government appointees, Emefile held a position of immense importance taxed with guiding African largest economy towards prosperity. However, his tenure will be rem remembered as one of that ushered Nigeria into one of the worst economic phrase since its independence over 60 years ago. Here are 10 reasons why Nigerians may find it hard to forgive me, Mifili. Naira pledged to, to an all-time low. Under Mifili's watch, the nation's currency, the Naira, suffered significant uh, devaluation per to his assumption of office in 2014. Naira exchanged at 190 to one United States dollar. However, it plummeted to all-time low trading at over 750 at the parallel market by the time of his suspension. Encourage forest arbitrage and round tripping. This part as part advice including recommendations from the International Monetary Fund IMF and the World Bank to allow the Naira to find its true value. Immediately expended trillions of Naira in a Total attempt to defeat the currency. His creation of a subsized um, window for importance, importers and exporters to assess dollar lead to price um, discrepancies and enable unscrupulous individuals to profit from currency arbitrage and round tripping. Ban crypto trading. A mayfield's decision to pro um, to prohibit bank from engaging in cryptocurrency transaction um, dealt a severe blow to Nigerians' young people population. While citing concern about money laundering and tourism financing, the ban stifled innovation and left cryptocurrency enthusiasts in a state of uncertainty. Accused the, West, um, the website of costing Naira devaluation. In a buffalo move, Amifile accused um, Abokif FX, an online platform known for publishing daily foreign exchange rates in the um, parallel market of economic um, sabotage. In a surprising turn of events on June 10, 2023, President Bola Tinubu suspended Godwin Emefele, the governor of the State Bank of Nigeria, CBN, um, singling the end of an era that thief billions of that left millions of Nigeria reeling from the consequence of his controversies policy. Emefele's suspension was met with a collective sign of relief across the nation as he had come to embody an economic terror that plagued Nigerians for nearly a decade. As one of the long-serving government appointees, Emefiele held a position of immense importance taxed with guiding African largest economy towards prosperity. However, his tenure will be rem remembered as one of that ushered Nigeria into one of the worst economic phrase since its independence over 60 years ago. Here are 10 reasons why Nigerians may find it hard to forgive Emefiele. Naira pledged to, to an all-time low. Under Emefile's watch, the nation's currency, the Naira, suffered significant uh, devaluation per to his assumption of office in 2014. Naira exchanged at 190 to 1 United States dollar. However, it plummeted to all time low trading at over 750 at the parallel market by the time of his suspension. Encourage forest arbitrage and round tripping. This part as part advice, including recommendations from the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the World Bank to allow the Naira to find its true value. Immediately expended trillions of Naira in a futile attempt to defeat the currency. His creation of a subsized um, window for importance importers and exporters to assess dollar lead to price um, discrepancies and enable unscrupulous individuals to profit from currency arbitrage and round tripping. Ban crypto trading. The Mayfield's decision to, pro um, to prohibit bank from engaging in cryptocurrency transaction um, dealt a severe blow to Nigerians' young people 
population. While citing concern about money laundering and tourism financing, the ban stifled innovation and left cryptocurrency enthusiasts in a state of uncertainty. Accused the, West, um, the website of costing Naira devaluation. In a buffalo move, MFLA accused um, Abokif FX, an online platform known for publishing daily foreign exchange rates in the um, parallel market of economic um, sabotage. All right, viewers, have listened to today's news. Hmm. 10 reasons why MFLA cannot be forgiven. Okay, they said uh, doubled into politics. Um, introduce Naira recoloration and cashless policy. This cashless policy is where we have issues. Okay, alleged um, terrorism financing, refused to pay um, Paris club refund, failed to team rigging inflation, illegal printing money, and what else? Okay, um, that's that and more that I mentioned in the news re um, reading. Please, <laughs> may feel it. If you can forgive anything, you see this crypto, the banning of crypto trading, and this um, introducing naira recoloration and cashless policy of a thief. God, it tell hard on Nigerians. We were not finding it funny. I remembered how I struggled to survive in school. How many of us remember the, ca the cashless policy of a thief? How many of us were able to get something? Um, um, that cashless policy made people bond a particular um, POS guy that was actually charging way more higher than um, the normal um, um, charges. So people were already angry, people were already pissed off. Bankers were afraid to go to work. A friend of mine actually called me, was asking her, how are you able to cope during the um, cashless policy of a thing? She was like, whenever they are going to work, they dress like a normal person. But when they get to work, they, they change their, their outfit. When they are going out, they go out like a normal person. No wigs, no corporate dressing, just dress casually like a normal market woman or whatever, or a normal street guy. So people will not notice you're a banker. You know this because during the period, bankers' life were at stake, and because Nigerians were so angry, you know, vows and people have this violent spirit. So when this model, they take, they take chances and just kill people. So they were so so. Uh, she she really struggled during that period. I really I I really felt pities for bankers. They as in it was not easy for them. It was so so not easy for them. And this cryptocurrency everything that immediately banned. I don't understand. A lot of people lost money that, during that period that he banned um, cryptocurrency. People, 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 money, people, people sweat went on the drain. And people went on depression. Some people had to even kill themselves because they are money. What, what exactly is wrong with doing cryptocurrency? What exactly is wrong with that? Immediately destroyed. Even if people are going to forgive him for anything. This cashless policy and crypto um, branding of a thing. It, hmm. Talking about him um, 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 funding terrorism. I don't understand. Why would you have such kind of mind to fund terrorism? People are being killed on daily basis. And you are looking for a solution. And you are the one funding terrorism. I don't understand how people are this good. Alright, viewers. You have come to the end of today's news. Please do watch by the comment section. Let us know what your views are. Thank you for listening.